All right, guys, so we're back today and we're going to be shooting a Tesla we got here and we have parts for it over here on this side as well as a hood that's going to be coming in that's the same color. So if you follow this channel, you guys know that I'm a big fan of using a sunlight to check for coverage, check your color when it's raining out. And today we're going to be doing a video with Luma 3 showing you their Exodus spray gun as well as their Sun Pro light. So I've reached out to them a while back asked them about their products and if they had anything that I could use for my guns and they were telling me they were making an Exodus gun and that's the one I wanted to try out so they sent them to us and we're going to try them out on the channel with you guys for the first spray on a Tesla test them out and I'm going to show you how I use a sunlight because I haven't seen many guys show you this and we're going to get into that today all right so this here are the spray guns and these are the Exodus series so these are their setup guns with the actual bracket on it for the Sun Pro Light. So that's nice that it comes already on the gun. And this is a 1.3. This is an OP. I think it's optimal pressure is what they're calling it. It's like an RP, like a reduced pressure gun. So this is nice that it comes with the regulator in the actual kit. That way you're ready to go. All you got to do is put your fitting on it. I've already got my S15 PPS adapters for it depending on what you'll need if you're using PPS it's S15 so this is the base gun it definitely looks like it's a well-made gun but we'll be testing it out today and seeing how it does with the metallics and then we have their clear coat gun this is a 1.5 same thing with the OP on it for the optimal pressure and this one as well comes with the light so same thing the regulators in the kit and uh, it's got a nice laser cut foam that this sits in so that's the guns we'll try them out with you guys on that tesla and then this here is their sunlight this here attaches to the gun so i'm pretty interested in trying this out i've never really had a light on a gun i've used my sunlight for many years and uh, i'd always have to go get it and check out the colors with that so it's nice having this on the gun that way you can actually see what you're doing as you're spraying so i'm a big fan of using a sunlight when i'm doing my base coat not so much do I use a light when I'm using the clear and uh, I might try that out but for now we're going to try it out how I would show you guys I would recommend using a sunlight and that's the way I've done it for many years but we're going to try it out on the gun for Luma 3. All right so we're going to get into now spraying the vehicle and in between coats I'm going to show you guys some of the other products that they have from Luma 3 that can really outfit your booth really nicely one of them is going to make sure that you have a really clean job and you guys will be really interested in seeing what that one is all right so we're going to be shooting this hood with that job in there and this hood had a factory blemish from tesla when they made this car there's a spot in here i don't know if you guys can see it right here in the middle where the actual base coat looked like somebody must have sanded something on this and we're going to be fixing this as well as doing that job being this is the same color so I wanted to show you the light on that actual spot. I don't know if you guys can see there. It looks like they sanded it with something too coarse and then didn't get enough base coat on it. So we're gonna fix this when we do that using the old Luma 3. So we've got everything masked up. We've got the hood sanded down and we're gonna be ready to shoot the car. So. First things first, I know I told you guys that I was going to be showing you their products in between, but I'm anxious to try this one out so I can get a clean job as well. So this here is their hose hanger from Luma 3. And uh, I've been looking at these for a while on their site. This is a very big deal in getting a clean paint job because if you lay this hose on the ground or even on a stand, you're going to pick up debris that's on this. That's why I usually tack off my hose before I spray because this is what's hanging over the part. So if you're clearing this hood and you have a dirty hose, all that debris is going to go right on the part that you're spraying. So this is a very good item and that's why we went ahead and put it together. That way we can shoot this job and use it today because I've been actually looking forward to having this myself. So let's get into shooting this thing. We're going to go ahead and load up the 1.3. We're going to seal it. And then we're going to go ahead and get into our base and our clear coat with the guns. All right, so we've got the sealer now loaded in the 1.3 base gun. We're going to try that out first on this. We got our high flow fitting on the bottom. We're going to be spraying this one wide open. As you guys know, I like to open this up all the way. And then once you feel it touch and actually hit the trigger, that's where I stop it. And on the fan, we're going to be spraying this one wide open as well. So they recommend 18 to 23 PSI on the the gauge that they give you so 
that's what we're going to start out with we got the s15 pps adapter on there with our pps cup and we're ready to roll so let's go ahead and put our sealer on it All right, so that was the sealer and that is the ECS PPG sealer. And I sprayed it at about 20 PSI. And I'll tell you what, if this thing breaks it up and it missed it on. And uh, it almost surprised me when I put the paint on there, how big the fan was on this and how fine of an atomization this thing puts out. So, so far I'm very impressed with it. And uh, as you guys know, I'm not biased to any guns. I'm gonna tell you the true honest opinion of what I think of this gun. And so far I'll tell you what, it blew me away on how fine it broke up the sealer and how big the fan was and how flat it laid it down. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the light with the base coat and putting the base down. But I think I'm going to be more happy trying out the clear gun than anything. So let's go ahead, clean this out, put our base in it and get our base on. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the light. All right, so we've got our wet bed on it, and now we're going to move into our color coat. That's when I'm going to be using the light. I'm going to try it out as how I see a lot of guys online spraying with the light while the lights are on. And then I'm going to show you guys how I do it. That way I know I have coverage, and that way I can really see my metallic and blend it out, especially when you have a trouble color that doesn't cover well, or you have something that you really can't tell whether your blend is perfect. This is going to be the way to do it, and it's right on the gun. guys so i hope you guys can see and hear me good but if you look at this here you can see that it's see-through see how you guys can see that that's not fully covered over the sealer this is when this light is going to come in handy you want to look at it in the dark come in and check your edges see your edges here we're missing some paint on them and we got to get more coverage up here but this is going to give you the light to be able to see it see right there you guys can see right through it this is what you want to do. You want to come in here and you want to check your color in the dark with your gun and the light is on it. So normally I would bring in my 3M light and check this, but now that I have this already on the gun, I'm able to look at it. So you can check your sealer coverage and you can see definitely there that we're going to have to put another coat. We know that we would have to, but we just want to show you what this does for you in the dark. But also when you're blending out your metallics, this is going to be very handy to getting a nice blend. All right, so you've seen how nice that light is being right on the gun. You were able to see all your edges and see where you had see-through still. So what I like to do now, and especially with colors that don't have good coverage, or if I'm fighting a blend, I'll actually spray in the dark. I'll put my light on or I'll bring in my old, when I was doing it without this one, I'd bring in my old uh, sunlight from 3M and I would use that holding it and then spray and get my blend because you can really see your metallics in the dark with these lights. That's how it's going to look at its worst time out in the sun. So I see a lot of guys spraying with the lights on. I like to spray with the lights off and you can really see your blends. You can see where your coverage is. So now what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll make sure we hit all our edges. We'll do our blend 
while it's dark and we'll be able to see it really good with this and I'll show you that. All right, so you guys see what I do with the light. That's how I would do it if I had my old light. And now that I have the light on the gun, it's very easy because I already have it here. I could just turn it on quick and I'm able to see what I'm doing in the dark. That's the way I do my troubled colors that don't have good coverage or don't wanna blend out good. I'll turn off the lights, do my blends in the dark, and that will show you your best way of looking at how that metallic is gonna look out in the sun. So. If you ever had a car look good in the booth and then you pulled it out in the sun, this is gonna fix it. Get your blend and get your coverage done in the dark if you have a troubled color. And then once you get it outside, you'll have no problem at all. And that's what I've been doing for years. So this is gonna come in really handy. I just gotta remember to turn it off. And now I'm gonna show you one item that they gave me that's really gonna set up the booth before we clear this. All right, so check out this nice booth box they make, Luma 3. And uh, when I was building this here in between coats, it's really got nice nut and bolt construction on it. And this is even a glass pane. That way, if you get overspray on it, you can clean it off. I was happy to see that this wasn't plastic and it's glass. So that way you're able to even use a blade. But I probably, once I get some time, go ahead and hit this with a boot coat. That way it'll stay nice because this is a really nice product. So this here will go on the wall in the booth it's magnetic and they also give you mollies if you guys are doing this on something that's not metal. But you have your gun holders and then you have your actual bottle holders on the bottom. We'll get this fit in the booth there and I'll show it to you guys hung up. All right, so I'm gonna try to put it up here towards the front, that way it doesn't get any overspray on it or at least a lot less. So it's got a nice door on it. You got your shelves in here, you got your gun holders and you got your bottle holders here. So you can get your stuff loaded in here. I'll go get a couple items and I'll show you how it holds them and what it'll actually store in here. All right, so I put a couple items in there. That way you guys can see what you could use it for. Whatever you guys are using, I just threw a couple of things in here that I use in the booth all the time. My tack cloths, my uh, lift tape for 3M, and my uh, blow guns, and then my blower here. Sometimes I use that, but it holds two guns on the side if you're not gonna use a blower. And you can also hang two bottles on each side of this. So really a nice setup as a complement to your booth to give you more room for other things. That way you don't have a mess all over the place. So really nice. Shout out to Luma 3 on this one. All right, so now's the time for the clear coat. We've got our clear mixed up. And you guys, if you're not familiar with the channel, we use PPG here. So this is the 2021 High Solids Clear. And this is now going to be the 1.5, the OP. And I'm not going to use a light, so I'm just going to use a light when I do base coat. That's just what I do. If you guys like using a light, go ahead. But to me, I like to see the way that I've normally seen it for as long as I've been painting. So we're going to go ahead now and get this clear on it and see how good this gun does.
All right, so that was the first coat of clear. And you guys see I started out on the bumper. That way I could get my feel for this thing because I've never sprayed it before. So once I got halfway through the bumper, right away I could tell how this gun is going to lay down the clear. So I'll tell you what, it breaks it up fine. And it is a gun that is a lot like some of my other guns that are my favorite guns. So it lays down a flat coat. It breaks up the clear very fine, even with the 1.5. So don't think because this is a 1.5 that that's going to be a hoser gun and it's going to put out a big pellet. This gun actually atomizes this clear phenomenal. And this is a true high solids clear. We're going to put one more coat on and I'm going to bring you guys in there and show you how the final outcome is. All right, you guys see me put up the flag. That means that I do like this stuff. This is a very good gun. The light works great. You guys see me use it for the metallics. That way we can see we had a good job and uh, just very good stuff. I wanted to wait till the end before I put up the flag and uh, that way it's got my stamp of approval. So very good stuff. The hose hanger, the booth box, well-made stuff. The gun spray, beautiful. They put down a flat coat like I like. It's a little slower, but that's what I like as a preference of a gun. So perfect gun for me. I'll be using these all the time. You guys will see more videos on them and you'll see me on Instagram at Car Candy Man. So there'll be a coupon below in the description. That way you guys can get anything that you've seen me using here on Luma's site and you guys will really enjoy it. So I hope you guys like this one. We'll see you on the next one.